gonna help you get. It's, it's worth about, more. Money, you have I need money right now. No, I, it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. It's not that you need it. It's money. Do you, you think? You, I, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you think as dangerous as you say it is to be next to him? I would yeah. risk my own for money. So what are yeah. you doing it for, Tom? What are you doing it for? You, completely. I told you why I was doing this. For what? Okay. First of all, Takashi has a network of hundreds of millions of young generation kids of today. Okay. Half of them think just like him. Half of them ain't had nobody that can give them that information. So guess what? If they don't get the information, they're going to move completely lost. Now, mind you, I got kids his age. I got kids his age. They can't move in a society that thinks that everything that Takashi is doing is cool because it's not, my nigga. It's not cool, right? These are conversations we have, but as I said again, you can't change nobody overnight. All you can do is influence him to change. Now, I won't know if all the work I'm putting in right now is going to be fruitful, but what I do know is I will spark a change in him that's going to be totally different from what everybody's seeing in the day. That's okay. for sure. So what I'm saying is this, and that's what I'm trying to say. If that's your goal, right, then going on every platform saying that Takashi snitched and a bunch of other niggas snitched, 80% of niggas snitched, justify the truth. Okay, but this is what I'm trying to say. So what would you say that? What are, what are you saying it to say? Are you saying it's okay? It's okay because 80% of the niggas snitch? So what are you, why do you bring it up? Why, why do you bring it up? Okay, I brought it up because that's a scenario that most people that's locked up has all been in. And they decided to choose their family over the cell. So, what, so, are you, so are you saying that it makes sense? Hey, if you decide you want to get into the street game or be active, right? Yeah. Do it by yourself, my nigga. You don't, ain't real niggas gonna be running around doing capers with supporters. If that shit go down, you can't put your life in somebody else's hands. If you're gonna go there, you gotta have 100% foot in. You can't have half foot, uh, one foot in, one foot out. Nigga, you gotta go all the way. And you gotta accept everything that comes with it, including the old co-defendant or whoever you rocking with to snitch on you. If you gonna do, if you gonna do it all the way in, you gotta do that shit by yourself. But if you don't have the courage to do it by yourself, you gotta accept everything that come with it. You can't blame it on this because he told. That's your fault because you allowed that loose end to be there, and you know better than anybody in the that's street. Real. The that's not real. Hold on, hold no. on. In the code, no, hold on. In the code, in the street, in the code that we live by, my nigga. If there's something that happens and the caper was killed and the caper was actually uh, done, or there was a lick that we actually accepted, we ain't losing. We ain't leaving no loose ends, my nigga. It stops happening. We just not. Well, listen, we gotta start we gotta start separating this because we've already we've already established that we don't live by the same code. We've already you you said that. You said that because I would never do anything with Takashi. So the fact that you would do with Takashi means we live by completely, totally different codes. No, it just no, that, that that's that's un, that's that's not that's not true. That just what? means that we disagree about Takashi. No, it does not. It's a code. Listen to me. That's what it listen to me. That's the code. Bob, once you listen to me, you know, the code I, once you snitch, once you, know you are you are alienated. That's the code I live by. Once you snitch, you no longer in. You are no. You You probably hanging around snitches right now. Don't even know. But that I know of. Once I'm aware that you a snitch, you can't be in my direct circle. I can't. I don't want nothing to do with you. Are you active right now? No. Are you committing any crimes? Not at all. Are you doing anything illegal? Nothing illegal. Not one. So why does it matter if you got a snitch around you? Who gives a fuck, nigga? What are you gonna, he gonna tell? He gonna, he gonna tell on you? He gonna tell? Let me get now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, explanation. Let me tell you. Now listen. If you're out of this game, but you're still hanging around people in the game, and you're super close to niggas, active, and they decide to engage with him. That's they fault because they already know that he tell them. So why put yourself in that situation? These yeah. niggas knew he wasn't built to 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 withstand still or all that information. If they didn't, then they they they, they failed to do their due diligence on who they can felt I, they could do get around. Okay, so can I ask yeah. you a question? So can I, this, you just, as a street nigga, your instant move a certain kind of way with certain kind of people. 
But real niggas ain't doing nobody. Ain't that, they're not utilizing nobody when they're doing something. They're going to do a body lonely, and you will never know it even happened. The day you decide to go find supporters, that's the day you're going to be locked up for life. Okay, so this is, this is what I want to ask, right? If, right? If you snitch on somebody, right? That means that you, that means you're steal from me. That means that you lie. You might do something to my wife. That means you're not a person that's trustworthy. It means that you, don't, you have a low moral caliber, right? I don't want that type of person around me at all because I know that I you're do. weak. I know, I, know that, I know that given the opportunity yeah. to just having you in my circumference, your, weakness, your weakness could put my life and my family's life in jeopardy. But everything you just said... With that, because it's not about the streets, it's about your morality. You have a low morality, right? And that's a moral that's compass. Yeah, we debating that's fair. Now, you said if a nigga was snitch, they're still from you, yeah. correct? His co defendants did that, mm -hmm. they'll fuck your wife, yeah, right? His co defendant fucked his baby mama, mm -hmm. and you can't trust the nigga, right? Yeah, I don't want you around me. Let me finish. All three of the principles you just mentioned was done to Takashi. Okay. Right? Mind you, they didn't snitch though, but they did all the things that claimed was done to him. Yeah. And with right. Hold on. Oh. So with that being said, yeah. where does this ethic of code lie? At what point does it have any but, kind of listen to me? Let me this is the simplest way I could say it, Colin. Right. Not not for them. It's for you. It's no, your. Listen, I'm I... trying to tell you. So when I, what I'm trying to tell you, if when I don't snitch, right? Mm -hmm. It's not because I have a loyalty to you. It's because I have integrity for me. It has but nothing to do with integrity, though. It does no? no it... Let me explain why I say that. Let me explain why I say that. It has me... everything to do with integrity. Why do I say that? And I don't mean in general. I'm talking about to someone like me and you. Why? Because we're no longer active. So who gives a fuck? But that, when I, when I, you keep, well, I, that's why I keep, I'm trying to explain to you, it's not about street shit. It's about, these are man codes that I live with. If it's not about street shit, then what else could they be telling about? What else could they be snitching about? I'm trying to tell you, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's a man code that I live by. It has nothing to do with whether it's street. This just happened to be a street situation. You understand what I'm saying? If me and my man that go to work, right? And mm -hmm. he, he comes in late and he and he um punches in late and the boss right. comes to me and say, Yo, who punched in late? I don't know nothing about that. Well, what do you mean? So, so me now, now, job. This so is now, a, a job, nigga. Me and my man. And, and they right. say, Yo, one of y'all gonna get fired because I know one of y'all punched in late. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know nothing about that. Right. You gotta find that out. That, I don't know. I because that's just the morals that I have. I'm it don't got nothing to do with gang or street. It's just a certain ethical code. It's, I need to know that people in my circumference have a level of morality. And my integrity, my integrity needs to be attacked. My, right. my work, man, when people speak about me, see, for me, character is currency. It's not just when I say that. I, my character is my now, currency. I've never been rich. Let me respond to the morality. Let me respond the reason, to your Let me say one thing real quick. The reason why I survived, I've let survived. Me. Let, me, let me, no, no, no. Now, the only the only moral code that I live by mm -hmm. is feed my family. The only thing moral about a man doing the right thing is making sure his family is safe, they're well fed, and they got a roof over their head. Nothing else matters. Period. So that's the moral compass, the manhood morale that you're talking about. He said all activists. All of us are active, and most of our greatest leaders was taken down by agents, niggas that was weak. They wasn't. They wasn't in the street doing shit. They was taking. When you look at the shit with Fred Hampton, he was taking. It's niggas that be weak. It, these niggas are dangerous. It's because they they have a their moral fiber is fucked up. You talk no, about a nigga. No, it has nothing to do with morality. It's, it's, it's it has not, nothing to do with the when you're in the courtroom saying yeah, and and Cardi B. You in the courtroom saying Cardi B's the blood. Yeah, Cardi B, and she ain't got shit to do with the case, my nigga. You have no morality. What the I, fuck ain't got to do with your case? Listen, that part me and you already agreed to was wrong. We, I get that. But what, I, what I'm saying is, 
You keep saying the part. We agree to all the parts was wrong. It's no part that we really don't agree was wrong. You just trying to give me a way that it makes sense. And none of this no, shit. No, no, no. You can't make truth make sense. Truth is the truth. It's sense already. Right? That's so what you, I'm giving you, is the information that nobody's talking about. If you have to choose. It is about that information, Con. If you have to choose between your family and the niggas we that kidnap and kill you, who would you choose? Forget the street code, all of that shit. Who would you choose? But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You chose your oh. family. Look, when you... If you got to choose... Can you let me in? Okay. And the people... Can you let me in? You never let... I'm just trying to... I've been, uh, street code, you, I, all of who would you choose? Uh, I've been trying to answer that question for an hour every time you say that, right? It shouldn't take you but two seconds to answer no, that. Just no, answer. no, no, because that's that's you not like you because it's deeper than what you just saying, right? Listen to me. When a nigga, okay, listen, listen to me. So look, when a nigga go out, right, and he hustling, right, and he in the street, right, what he say? I was trying to feed my family, right? Right. Okay. So every time he get away from the law and he comes and he get that money, he profits off this shit trying to feed his family, right? You trying to feed your family. So now, when it don't work out right, you got the same story, the same exact thing. It should still be feeding his family. It should never change, because guess what? The key word you just said. I'm honest, oh, the word, if the key, you were trying to feed your family, you would have you would have you would have picked a better way because you no, understand. But that's but, but, that no, it, you know a better way. Your family. No, the only thing but, that comes with peace is jail or prison. I mean, death. You no, can't I, make a decision that you're trying to feed your family, and then when you get caught. No, my nigga. You, if you was trying to feed your family, you would have got a different job. Get a different my, job. To make sure I, you I, own with Because I tell you, niggas all the time, you when you dead in prison, who going to be feeding your family? You leading who me to my But you're leading me to my next point. You're 100% correct. If you're out in the streets feeding your family, and then you take your profit to go back in the streets to feed your family, well, while you're thinking you're feeding your family, you're actually putting your family in jeopardy. Because if your ass go to jail for years, who's there to feed your family? Nobody. Right? It, so my point is, the streets should always be temporary. That's number one. Number two, at the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you fall into, what situation you go into, your only loyalty and advent should always go to who? Your family. That's it. Your family is your only responsibility me, as a man. I'm going to tell you some real so, shit. Let me tell you some shit. My mother, my mother huh? don't respect the rat. If I went home, if I told on a nigga, right? If I told on my... Yo, chum, because this is the part that I think everybody needs to get out of this whole conversation. At the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you get caught into, what situation or penitentiary chances you're taking, it should only and always be only for your family. That's the only responsibility that a moral compass that should be lying to the man is making sure his family is safe and they're living. Period. So what you need to do, right? let me tell you, what you need to do is that's get a job at Walmart. You need to get a job at Walmart. You need right. to work. At FedEx, exactly. you need to get you need to get signed up for the school test because the streets ain't for you, bro. That's the fun. You can't you can't be in that field talking about it for your family. He knows the streets ain't for him. The world knows the streets ain't for him. This tells you that the streets ain't for him. We know the streets ain't for him. So guess what? Yeah. Huh? Well, that's what I'm for you, Con. You you still trying to? I don't think I, <laughs> the world knows this. What I'm trying to tell you is you should have did that before you told on them people, because those people was really in the streets. No, that's something that you anticipate before the action happens. He don't know the streets ain't for him until he gets in a situation. I, uh, what are you talking about? I knew, listen to me. I knew, oh, listen to me. What is this? You got teenagers out here, right? That's scamming. That's out here robbing. They don't know the consequence of that until they get caught. If they knew the consequence before they got caught or what it really is, they're not going to do it. They got to get hit or they got to feel that fire before they realize that shit is real hot. Con, I'm gonna tell you some real shit, right? Because I love you, Con. I love you. I'm, like, I, bro, listen, I bro, really bro, love you, man. Right? Like, I love bro, you. Bro, I appreciate you, Con. But you, bro, you listen, listen, Con. Right now, you looking bro, crazy. Con, this is why I got. Listen, this is why I got on your platform so we can have this con, conversation. Con, you, Con. Well, as to everything we're saying, the only piece that I think that you can work on is understanding, con, understanding the knowledge that they crazy. And we got to give them that information, bro. Because guess what? Takashi has too much influence for niggas not to, to give him that information. Somebody got to talk to him better. You look, you looking crazy right now, Carl. No.
You're looking crazy. The fact that you I'm, wouldn't do it. I'm just you. telling you, bro. She listen to me. I'm telling you as a, a, I'm trying to tell you right now, to the, not just the streets, just to the whole hip hop culture. You right. looking, you look I, crazy. Listen, you co signed You my, you listen, I don't mind looking crazy if it's gonna but save you. Me. That's happening. If you don't mind, it's cool. But I don't you're mind. Crazy. Because cause my my role in this is bigger than what it's way it's be it's, it's it's kind of beyond the average mind of how they think. Me, I know what influence is, and I know how powerful influence can be. And if you give influence in the, in the hands of the wrong person with the wrong information, bro, everybody. But, you, you, but this is what I'm trying to say, your concept. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what what mentorship would have been. Mentorship would have been the man came home from prison, right? You don't you don't give a nigga a song, right? That when he mm -hmm. when he already don't even represent what that song represents. You sit the nigga down and say, "Let me talk to you. Let me talk. Let me tell you what mentorship. You didn't be like yo. You want this song from me, right? You want to get on this song. Then your your life gotta reflect a certain way. You gotta show some change. You gotta mm -hmm. start having good conversations. Start going to these motherfucking detention centers and talking to these kids and telling them how to stay out of jail. I want right. you to get on every day and have real conversations and say, yo, I made a mistake. I thought I was this and I really wasn't." I want you, that's when, when you mentor a nigga. But you right. sitting there with the music to still talk the same dumb shit he talking about. I'm a rat and this and that and antagonize a nigga and make it seem like you co-sign the bullshit. You're not helping that, man. No, no, you but know? what I'm saying is your message don't help me do my job. Because guess what? He has been on house arrest since he got out. He's able to go to the facility. He's been on house arrest since he got out. So what I'm saying is, it's time and patience. It's going to take time to get all. It's not the same guy that you think he is because you haven't spoke to him. You haven't been in the same room to have a one-on-one -on -one like me and you haven't. So the world doesn't know what's going on in his head. They just assuming according to all the context and comments that's on, on social media. And social media is fueling all of this because it's so much bigger than what y'all think this is. I'm telling you, this man influences hundreds of millions of kids, bro. He cannot go out and, there and make it seem like it's cool. I'm to tell you how dangerous you are because no one influences it. And you as a grown man that's supposed to live by a code and you co-signing this bullshit and they thinking this shit is cool that you could go in the streets and you could call hits and you could get niggas locked up and you could come home and say, fuck the world, I'm a rat. And I'm, and I'm going to be co-signed by a nigga who said I'm locked up that, that spoke for street niggas. And that's what you teaching them. You teaching these kids that, huh? You're doing a disservice to the culture, man. All right. You're doing a disservice. <laughs> yeah, I love you. My, my, my nigga. You my nigga. But this is what I try to tell you. See, one thing about leaders, they don't have the time to explain the bigger picture. My son, if you don't see the bigger picture in this, I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't. I see the the picture that you paint is fuck this. It's kids right what now because I'm, it's time. What I'm saying is this. I already anticipated all the backlash before I walked into this. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I'm cool because guess what? When there's emotions that spark up, that means it's something worth talking about. When there's emotions that spark up, that means this is something that really means something to people. They really take this seriously, right? Which is great. And I needed to know, at the end of the day, how invested that we are in our own communities. Because when you have somebody like Six... has that much influence in our younger generation with the mind state that he has right now and how he was taught to think that that's what that is and we just will let that slide and nobody corrects him and you saying but you not, because, bitch, hold on you, you hold on hold on, not, hold on let me finish let me finish and you saying because he snitched he doesn't have the right to that information that he has to have it's crazy to me but Khan, you're not giving him yo you just empowering you ain't giving him information a lot of og niggas that you pull them to the have conversation. Six nine is already empowered. This motherfucker has over two hundred million fans. You don't empower somebody like that. He always has. He already has the yep. power. All yep. I'm trying to manage that power to make sure it goes in the right direction, my nigga. What you saying that this is sad? Haven't you? You sound like these little young internet niggas now that make you believe that because you got two hundred niggas, thousand niggas, million niggas on Instagram that you somebody. You you really you you it, you confuse I mean, you confuse real okay. life. With Yo, you confusing no. real life with the internet, huh? You know, hey, that information is more powerful. 
No. So I got to make sure he's filled with the right information when he has oh. all that. Oh. You can't have that many people and feeding the wrong information. Or bad. I, you, you, I, you, 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 I got to make sure it's right information. It's empowering. No, no, it's more important. That shit's more important than what I'm building. Because what I'm building is for tomorrow's generation. And I can't build what I'm building for tomorrow's generation to have the same mentality as Takashi as what he has today. Khan, he got, he Khan, got Khan, you just it's like, it's like this, right? You gave, you, you, you committed yourself and you gave, first of all, you disrespected Styles P. Whoa, 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 whoa. First well, of all, hold on. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> you, 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 you violated Styles P. Oh, you took bro. a song that he made a classic and put a rat on it. Knowing wow. how anti rat is, you, you violated Styles P. So, so uh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I'm telling I'm great. You, you want to get on, I want to have a real conversation. You violated Styles P. Completely violated. No. Okay, so first of all, Locked Up is a classic. Can't classic. nobody wreck it up. Period. That record made for those that you know that's like me, that's like you, that's for them. That can never be tainted or ever be disrespected because that's what we do, that's our life, that's what we experience and share, share with the world, what we have to go through at that moment in time. Nobody can take that away from us. This generation is totally different. Clearly, he was, hold on, let me finish. Clearly, he was locked up. The reasons he, was, he went in and came out, yeah, we might disagree, but he still has the right to tell his story. But until you hear his verse, and hear what he's dealing with. That's real shit from his point of view. He has a right to tell that point of view. Now, anybody could have jumped on Locked Up. I agree with you. There's a lot of other niggas that's been locked up that could have got on that record. But my nigga, that record has been, it's been 16 years since I put that first record out. Ain't nobody thought to remix that shit until Takashi decided to do it. What happened to all the other 16 years when that but, record was wide open for motherfucker to get on? Because nobody else, nobody, because they, because, now, cause like, yo, you don't just remix classes. Niggas ain't going. You ain't gonna go call, go, go call, go call Stevie Wonder and just say, tell yo Takashi Six Nine. He gonna look and say that nigga ain't get on no song of mine. You think I'm a you for you crazy? You you you. you this is what I'm trying to tell you. You did a disjust. You 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 doing justice to your legacy as as an artist and as a man. You doing a disjustice to your legacy right now. It's a disjustice. No, I'm not, bro. But, Legacy, beloved, and you do too much good shit. You out here in Africa, you doing too much good shit to taint your legacy with this but, but, bullshit, Khan. You, you first, of all, can't compare, first of all, you can't compare my social responsibilities to Six Nine. He's one of those social responsibilities that I'm dealing with right now. Because guess what? Like, 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 you're just trying to get a bag off the nigga now. That's what it sounds like. That's not that's what it is. You, it don't sound like a social response. You're talking about he got 200 million fans. and Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Song and he got this. It sounds like you just trying to get it bad. You don't, it don't sound like, because if you was, because I, if you had the responsibility, you would be having conversations with that nigga and, make, and making him do shit that was going to move in a different direction. He ain't do nothing different. Man, everything happens at God's time. It ain't going to happen when everybody wanted it to happen. Everybody, listen, everybody ain't. Really do something. It would have had to happen after. It would have had to happen before you gave him that song. Cause everybody's different. The boy went through a lot, my nigga. He's being attacked by a girl of social media from the hip hop culture. That ain't something you get over overnight. Most of his time is spent defending himself from trolls, and you know that. He's so a I'm troll. You talk. How you gonna? Def the man is a troll. How you gonna defend himself from himself? He created these trolls, man. He the nigga that started trolling. He created this whole culture of trolls. No, oh. listen. Oh. listen. He listen started this. But listen, we're living in the age of social media. This is the world we live in right now, right? We can't just grab a microphone from a podium and speak and to a direct line. What we're, about, what we're doing right now, clearly, by the end of this week, it's going to be over a million views. So what we say is super, super important. And people have to understand that these views are parallel, even though everybody may disagree. On both sides, there's situations that people have to be able to take from a standpoint of understanding life and what it is to be a real man. The problem is everybody's living by all these rules that's supposed to make you seem cooler, uh, uh, be stronger, seem not to be a punk or no bitch ass nigga. But, but they will you know, live by? They to make hard decisions that make everybody look at you differently, even though you know it's the right decision to make. 
And at the end of the day, you make decisions that's going to always keep you close and feed your family. At the end can of the day, that's what I'm talking This is what I want to say, right? When niggas say feed your family, what about the niggas' family that you just gave 50 years to? Bro, he what tried to kill and kidnap him. What difference does it make to him? Question. What about... So listen to me. You you put a you put a hit out on Chief Keith, right? You could have took <laughs> Chief Keith's life. You yeah. got niggas shot. I'm asking you a question. What about the niggas' family who you got you gave forty or fifty years to? What about their family? Do they got a family? What about his kids? Of course, they all got family. But guess what? what? They so but so they what does that mean? He didn't tell on you his family. He he he. These niggas stood up and took their time like men. They thought about their family and you thought about yours. So you not willing because Bro. you. Weak, right. listen to me. Right. And then it's the symbolist. Because the nigga is too weak to deal with the consequences of his acts. It's not like when you say, yo, uh, no, listen, uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Listen. You act like them niggas make, you act like them, you act like Takashi told them niggas to go do it, jump off a bridge, and you gonna jump off a bridge like a fucking idiot. Them niggas knew the consequences of their actions when they did it. They knew that. They knew that if, if, if I shoot at this nigga or I kill this man, I'm gonna leave my family forever and I won't be able to take care of him. They knew and, that. And, and they and, and listen to me, and they did that. Listen to what I'm saying. And they, and they did that, Con, right? What I'm trying to say is they was willing to take the axe for theirs. Nigga, you went into a fucking courtroom and they said, We saw you do this on camera. We got your voice doing this. We could give you this time for what you did. They didn't say we're going to give you this time because you're affiliated with that nigga and we think you did a crime that he did. No, he didn't do nothing for nobody else. He was too weak to deal nah. with the consequences of his own acts as a man. And because he wasn't willing to deal with those consequences as a man, he told on other niggas so they could deal with those consequences. That man is a fucking clown. And you are a grown man and you, got too much, you have too much of a platform and you too have too much of a voice, you have too much respect to enable shit like this. And what I'm trying to tell you is you can't give an entertainer responsibility of a street nigga when that's not where he's cut from. You just can't do that. No, you can't. It's not. He's not from you can't. So, so, you can't. Nigga, so, look, sure. so look, when you call a hit on a nigga, right? The nigga that he said, yo, go <laughs> shoot. Bullshit what talk. What, that's just, that's talk. bullshit talk. talk. They that's was internet talk, do bro. it. That's, that's internet they, bullshit talk. To see who going to be dumb enough to follow through on that shit? And if you... They did it to you dumb ass nigga for doing it. You like, man, how you gonna how you gonna let a, a fucking 19 year old rapper tell you to go kill somebody and you go do it? How kind of hit it can you be to do that shit? Pay your bills. That's the nigga that's got you in in, in the Bahamas. That's the nigga that got you everywhere. So Okay. You, Guess what? Your bills are being paid while you're with him on salary every fucking week. Okay. You now you gotta okay. kill somebody with your own money? Yeah, because and, he could yeah, because that's, that's the nigga. He told you to get the money. He said, I got 30000 on nigga head. This, this is your, okay. your, your kill I got 30. So, so he went on and said, I got 30000 on nigga head. And, uh, and just out of clear blue, the people around him decided they're going to go do it. They ain't just let somebody out there. Them, they just no. they felt like that was to them. Con. I'm just Con, saying. What dumb do you know? Listen, you know what? Con, say, I got call, call, I'm, listen to me. I've been broadcasting on the internet. Okay, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to do this, right? Because we've been doing this for an hour and a half. We're not going to change our positions. I'm, it's sad that you're not going to change your position. It's very sad. Because I know, no, no. I know, I know. Be good. What this did, it allowed both sides to have a conversation. I'm not saying that you for what I say or I'm for what you say. But there's, if this, it's always going to be mixed opinions. No one's ever going to all agree on it. But it's important for us to have conversations on all the hard topics. Con, certain shit is universal. Being a coward, having integrity, having moral confidence, it's certain shit that's universal for me. It's not, it's not, it's a no, it's a stop somewhere. You know what I'm saying? This generation ain't built like you, my son. You can't accept them to. No, because my son, look, my son is on here at 22 years old, and he mm -hmm. built like me because I raised him like me. My nephews and my I, brother. Damn, you was there to raise him. These no, niggas ain't no, 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 no. I wasn't there to raise him. First eight years of my life, I was in jail. So they, they, they lived off the way that I carried myself. It wasn't right. that. I, I carried myself as a man. I said, this is what men do. So right. when, you, when, you, when you having a conversation with this young boy and you, and you getting on here and he see you arguing, giving reasons why he told on a nigga, you are right. making him that you agree with the behavior and you're doing him a disservice, Con. Huh? 
nothing about him telling. Him telling was the result of actions that wasn't taken. What my conversation is, everybody's ignoring what led up to him telling in the first place. Nobody's ignoring. No. no. Because that's the key right now. The key is the converse, is all the things that happened that led him up to the point where he even had to tell in the first place. And if he was being done right, he would have never gotten to that position where he even had to be in front of a judge. That's what I'm saying. Con, this is bad. I'm just trying to tell you, this is, this, this guess is what? Guess what? And, I, and guess what? All my niggas can vouch to it. I would never put them in a position where they got to go and tell on me, bro. Ever. But Con, you don't, what do you what? mean? But you the nigga that's in control, though, Con. You no, see, I'm like, a, I'm, you, I'm in you, control. You, you, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You the Takashi of this situation. So you, you the one that put them in jeopardy. No, you can't control another man's action, but you can't control what you say to that man. Now, whether or not he decides to take your advice or live under the order of how you give it, you know, advice to him, that's, you just, you know, pray that God give him the ear and understanding to take that advice right. But no, you can't a, control another man's action, bro. Yeah. You don't go crazy trying, because it's impossible. So, Thing, right, so what I'm gonna say is this, right? As a man, for me, you know, Takashi is, is is a no go for me because he, we just have different moral compasses. And even after he returned to society, his he ha, he has the same energy, same mentality, everything. So what right, I want to what I want to say is this, right? I'm glad we had this dialogue. It's I'm sad. Gonna... It's it's kind of sad, right? Because you had an opportunity, right? And you still no. have. A... No, no, no. I'm... Let me say. First you didn't all, even hear what I, you not listen what I, you not, you didn't hear what I said. You stopped me mid sentence. Let me tell you. We leave let me this, hey, and then you can finish. I'm just going to say the last words. You <laughs> thinking that it's sad that I took this position? That means you ain't hear nothing I said. Okay, so no, that it doesn't. It means that it could, or it means that I heard everything you said, and I still think it's sad. So let me let me finish what I'm saying. So, so I I'm glad I'm sad that you took the position as. Where you had the opportunity, and you still have the opportunity to actually give this man some level of understanding of how life works, right? And mm -hmm. you do not reward somebody for doing bad acts, right? So right. when when a man came to you and wanted to do a locked up song of something that represented so much to people, something that is a classic song, and he came right. out, and he just told on a bunch of niggas, and even right. if you want to help him, what you should have did is said, "Look, let's have a conversation." For me to give you this song. We got to sit down. I got to see you move in a different way. I got to see you change things about your attitude because you can't represent this song moving in the manner in which you move. You had the opportunity to do it, but you, you left that opportunity because he was able to buy a song from you and just put it on his album. You don't have, you no longer have the opportunity all, because you no longer, you don't have the opportunity at this point. I, I can agree with your point. First of all, I didn't charge him anything. It was free. Why? This is bigger than a song to me. That's number one. Number two, my job in life is to create platforms for people to speak freely. Give them the opportunity that we never had as a people. I can't, because I disagree with his methods and thoughts, tell him he don't have the right to be on that song. Anybody can call me about that song and I will give him the clearance. I don't care who you are, what you've done. This is the time for you to now to give, it's your shot. Not, this ain't my chance to prove myself. This is his chance to prove himself to the world. All I gave him was the platform to do so. Now, you may say, okay, you know what? I don't agree with how he's trying to convince me that he's changed. Guess what? That's something he's, he's going to have to figure out a way to convince you. My job ain't to make you convince. I, I'm not here to make you I'm not here to justify his actions or why he's doing what he's doing. I'm just That's why we, because you've been trying to justify it. Con, the only reason we're here is because you've been trying to justify it. I no. wouldn't even have justification. What I'm saying is everybody's speaking on one part of the matter when this is a bigger picture. This is bigger than just snitching. This is beyond that shit. So what is what is it? Nigga, what? listen, at the end of the day, how no. is it we keep allowing ourselves to be in the same situation? And ain't nobody stepping up to prevent us from getting in front of the judge in the first place? But how are you doing that now though, Carl? What, what are you doing that stuff? What is he doing? Nigga, all I can do is try to influence him to become. How, Con? You, you listen to me. You, listen you walk to LA with him. With, huh? Listen to me. You walking down LA blocks with him when he, when niggas in LA don't fuck with him at all. He know they don't fuck with him. So you not, you not, you empowering them, Con. You not. 
nigga might not want to hurt you. A nigga might feel like, oh, he was con, so you know I'm not gonna say nothing because I respect con. You were in power. See off camera though. Let me see. Let me let me explain to you the part that you didn't see off camera. One of them is that he had to see that. This is stuff. This is reality. And my conversation to him is every action you make is what creates this reaction. He need to physically see that instead of just seeing it on his social media feed. He need to experience that in real life. That's one of the reasons why. Num and number two, the part that y'all missed that y'all didn't see on camera is me on the corner talking to about 50 street niggas having a real conversation the way me and you had a real conversation. Yeah, but they still, you didn't change their mind. No, they I don't do that. that. They mind. So, I don't, I don't, you, you, I don't uh, give you the information. How you, you say information. Uh, uh, niggas know you Ooh. can't you uh, there's no conversation that you're gonna have with a street nigga about this and make them feel like takashi did right it's never gonna happen because i'm not here to make them feel that like. i'm not here to make them what, feel like. what is the I'm, conversation what are you having the conversation about i'm not here as a takashi advocate i'm not trying to make them feel that that's not what i'm saying, what I'm saying is it's no way that this cycle continues and we constantly allow the niggas that we know got a chance in life to become something eventually from day one. And we ride them all the way through this path right here. The same way them niggas could have protected him, they controlled him now. They could have easily said, yo, bro, cut that shit out, my nigga. All that shit with this and that, bro, you continue that, you got a problem with me now. He would have listened to that. But they was egging him on to continue it because they love that shit. Trust me, I know uh them. -huh. But Khan, you saying that, but Khan, but Khan, listen to what I'm trying to say is this. And you, I hear what you're saying, right? But I knew of these guys, all of these dudes before, and they were street niggas, but they right. wasn't, they was active. Most of them was active niggas that was in the street, but they were loud. The shit that he doing, he's still doing it now without them. But he, listen, but he, but he, he, is, he, that only, ain't, he, he the nigga like that. That was him. He'd been a clout chaser. That's how he built his whole life, clout chasing and trolling. That's who he, he was. Exactly, that's his image. And he guess what? When he was doing it back then, and it was working, he had niggas protecting him, and allowing him to keep doing it. So now in his mind, oh, this shit actually really works. That's his system now. So guess what? Even when these niggas ain't out there, he's already been groomed to flow like that because that's how he was taught to bring the game up for him. So Yo, come, come, you got every reason. For no, you, no, I'm come, listen, come, no, listen, come, no, you no, just no, no. Bullshit this man do. You don't hear yourself. Doing right now, everything that you give me a, a question to, I'm giving you the optic of it. And most people, most people have a scenario or a logic in their mind, but they never exercise the opposite side of that logic. And that's the reason, that's the reason why we always always have always lack information and we never get to the finish line. Because the tough side of that conversation, nobody never wants to have. So if you give me a logic, it's my job to challenge you. And guess what? I might be right or, my, or I might be wrong. But at well, the end of the day, there was no conversation to talk about. You know, uh, there, was, there was no way, right, that you was going to get on this live and convince anybody that it I made sense.